today's episode of the Tenkara Kabare Flybox is brought to you by Brook Fishing Equipment. In this episode, we are going to be tying the Tenkara Grasshopper Yin Yang Kabare. So, we're going to need a spool of black Uni 6 aught thread. We're also going to need a spool of white 6 aught uni thread. For the hackle, I prefer using the Metz multi-pack and I generally will use the Grizzly particularly for this pattern. This actually comes with a cream uh, and also a uh, brown as well, but for at least for this pattern I prefer the Grizzly hackle. We're also going to be using a TMC or a TMCO 200R hook. All right, to start, we're going to grab that black thread. We're going to slowly start to create a head. I'm going to hold that tail in for a minute here and get this wrapped down. Now, what I like to do is actually like to grab that thread. I'm going to bring it back over. I'm actually going to pinch it down with two or three wraps. Once I've got that pinched down, I'm then going to go wrap back towards the bend of the hook. Do that about two or three times. Take our scissors. We're going to clip this tag end off right like that. So it's nice and close to the body of the, the hook. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue wrapping down towards the bend of the hook. Many Japanese kabare that you'll see um, are not exactly pretty ties. Uh, when I learned how to tie, I was always taught to uh, match my wraps. And that's just how I tie at least the, that's how I wrap the body right now. So I like to do this a couple times, up to the head. I'm going to wrap back down towards the bend of the hook. And we're going to stop right at the end of that black thread. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the white thread and we're going to slip that down under the black so the tag end is actually facing the eye of the hook. I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to pull it kind of so there's a little bit of a shorter tag there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap that white down. I'm going to lock it down to the hook. I'm going to bring this back up. Wrap a little bit more. Now just to make sure that I've got this nice and tight in there with that white I'm going to bring that towards the eye of the hook and I'm actually going to wrap and lock down three times with the black thread. I'm going to bring the white back forward, go back over the front of that white. And now I'm actually going to take that black thread, we're going to wrap towards the eye of the hook and thicken up that body a little bit more. Now with the white, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap back towards the bend of the hook again. And you can do this any number of times. Each one of mine varies a little bit based on just personal preference. I don't really have a set number. You can do six, eight. If you want to go smaller, you can go three. Doesn't really matter. But we're just going to go ahead and wrap this a couple times back and forth. So with that section tied in, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang 
that white down. I'm now going to take the black thread. I'm actually going to wrap that back down to the bend of the hook. Just like that. Again, I'm keeping tight turns, but you don't have to do that. If you're using a larger thread, like a upholstery thread or something like that, you can keep them pretty wide. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that white thread and we're actually going to, again, lift that, pinch that under the black, just like that. I'm going to wrap the black a couple times here, like that. Let's go ahead and fold that back, pinch it down again, just like that. Perfect. Bring that forward. Now I'm going to try and get that white thread pinched back down. I'm going to hold that. I want to try and create a little bit of a tail on it. So we're going to do a couple more wraps just to get that nice and tight. Now that I've got that tied in, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm actually going to clip that white thread up against the fly. I'm going to wrap the black thread about three quarters of the way back down the body of the fly. So this is where I'm actually going to tie the hackle feather in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to slip the spine of that hackle fiber up under the black thread. I'm actually using the weight of the bobbin to pinch that feather down. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to wrap that back towards the bend of the hook three or four wraps. Now that I've got that down, I'm actually going to lift the spine. I'm going to slip my black thread under just like that. I'm going to do that two times. Perfect. Now I'm going to come back over, pinch that down. What I find this does is, at least for me, kind of gives me a little bit more solid connection. Now I'm going to come up in here, I'm going to grab that spine and with my scissors, I'm going to come in and clip that spine as close as I possibly can to the body of the hook. So now we've got that down, we're going to wrap back, we're going to cover that spine. This is also going to create a little taper in the back of the fly uh, going forward into the head. So you can bring the thread back up to right where that feather is. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this feather, we're going to bend it back. We're actually going to stick the thread under. What we're doing is we're actually wrapping this so that we can go towards the eye of the hook and we're going to be creating a head on the fly to finish this out. So we're going to do some matching neat turns of that hackle. Give it a little bushiness to the fly. I'm actually taking that hackle and I'm going towards the eye of the hook. So I did about three wraps there, so that's just about what we need. This is a thicker hackle, so we don't really have to go too much more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that hackle feather, I'm going to move that towards the eye of the hook, I'm going to take the black thread, wrap it around that tail end, so that we're actually pinching that down. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, because I've got a rotary vise, I'm going to turn the vise so that the bottom of the fly is facing up. I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm going to come in right there, and I'm going to clip that feather off. And we've got kind of some escapees 
which I'm just going to trim down a little bit here. And this is not something you have to do, but it's just something I like to do. I just think it keeps the the head of the fly a little bit cleaner. It just makes things a little easier for me when I'm actually tying my flies in. Not bad. All right. So now that we have the hackle tied in, I'm going to build up that head just a little bit more. I'm going to wrap down towards the eye of the hook again, just like that. And now what we're going to do is we are going to grab our whip finisher and we're going to finish this guy out. So with that whip finisher, I'm going to go ahead and get this thread set up. Now I'm actually going to do five wraps of the head. Perfect. Going to clip that. I'm going to pull the thread back. Flip that whip finisher out. Give it a gentle little tug just to kind of get that seated. And we are going to clip that thread right against the body. And to finish the fly out, I'm going to use some Griff's thin head cement and my bodkin I'm going to get a little bit of head cement on that bodkin nice little drip of glue there we're going to drop that right on that thread I typically do two maybe overkill but just what works for me so there is that and ladies and gentlemen you now have the Tenkara Grasshopper Yin Yang Kabaddi hope you found this useful and maybe you can start tying this pattern um, and start using this in your fly box so now that we have our Tankara Grasshopper Yin Yang Kabari tied up, we have to find a place to put it. Let's bring in the Brook Silicone Line Fly Box. The slit line fly box lined with silicone will not rip and you can actually store your flies extremely well and extremely organized. This box does float as well. God forbid you have to drop it guess what you can still find it so get yourself one of these awesome fly boxes from Brook fly fishing from book fishing equipment we'll get you all set up thanks for watching this episode of the Tenkara grasshopper kabari box this episode was proudly brought to you by the folks at Brook fishing equipment based in Bozeman Montana visit them at www.brookfishingequipment.com Get yourself into a new box and some new gear. Please feel free to come back and watch this video at any time and come back and visit us soon.